Now next, we're going to go to the next page in Sampler, and that's Pitch, Gate, and Amplitude Envelope. Now here we have tuning, right? So you can also see here on the machine hardware, we have the same information, right? So here I'm in tuning. So rather than use this mouse here, which can be kind of fun, I prefer to find the parameter, then go here directly to my hardware and use this knob, this encoder here. That way I can just have this smooth feel and I can get exactly what I want out of tuning. So for example, I've got this vocal here. I'll play it back. Baby, baby, get up, get up. I can pitch this baby, vocal. Get up, get up, get up. Now I can also change the start. Now the start determines the start point of this sample. So for example, here I'm at start and I can actually go here. Tuning will go to start right there. Then move the cursor here. And now I'm at start. I can change start. Now this will change the start point of that sample. I can cut up the beginning a little bit. Get up, get up. Baby, baby. Get up, get up. See, it's cutting it off. So it's cutting it off a little bit there. I'm going to sort of like get this. You can see a little bit of that. There you go. And you can see we're right here on the get up. So I can bend this back down now to where that's at. And I'll make it easier. I can also reverse the sample. So I'll go right here. We'll play it back. Baby, buddy, buddy, buddy. That's pretty simple. We can set that back to where it normally would be. Now this lesson's about the amplitude envelope on the second page of our sampler. Now here I've got this keyboard part and it's playing. And our setting here is in type and I've selected ADSR for attack, decay, sustain, and release. Now I have several types you can choose from. You can click right here and you'll see we have one shot, A. HD and ADSR. Now I'll play this back and give you an idea what's going on here. A piano part. Now, I'm going to play it back using AHD. Okay, now we'll play it back using one shot. three different things are happening here. So now in one shot, this is typically used for drums primarily for the sampler, because what happens here is that it hits one time and the entire sample plays from the beginning to the end. And in one shot, the amplitude envelope section doesn't display any parameters. That means I'm not even using that part. This is just for the purpose of just playing the entire sample out. Now, when we go to the next setup, which is AHD, in this mode, we sort of dis disable the sustain and release. Now, let me explain this. Here's a sustain and release in the ADSR, but here, it's not here. There's a hold in place of that. So what happens is that's gone, and ideally this is used for like, just hit it and forget it. Whereby, you would just put the sample in there, it would play out to the end, regardless of how long that sample is. And you notice that, I'll play it here. It just rings like that piano is just ringing in the background. Now here, when I go to ADSR, you'll notice here that it, it's not ringing, it's cut off. Now watch this, I'm gonna go here to sustain. Increase sustain, I'll increase release. So here I can adjust, so this is a little more complex, I can adjust the sonic characteristics of the end point after the piano hits. I can adjust the sustain and the release of that sample, of those samples actually, because we are actually playing a few choppy chords here. You'll hear that. I can adjust it back a little more, get more of a little flavor here like this. And that's how we use the amplitude envelope along with the type.